What's up, it's your boy Satsby, fresh bow tie. Today, this is a big, big meeting. So I'm um, really excited about it. It's for uh, it's for that project we're working on where we're gonna go meet some some of the serious funders today. And so gotta put on that fresh new bow tie. Why not? We got one life to live. So by the time I finished my edits last night, uh, it was pretty close to almost 2 a.m. I had to get some sleep, man. This morning I still have to finish vlog 30. Uh, not a lot, but just some of the transitions I don't like and I think as I as I do more and more of these and I watch other people uh, that I admire um, I start to learn some of their styles and their patterns and so now this hobby is is, is an even bigger addiction Garbage day What about the diapers? What about the poofy diaper? It's okay. Ooh, look at the hot mama You know so It's really bright outside. Um, I've had three businesses and no business partners. And I always think I don't make a good business partner because I'm just, I just work at a different pace, man. And I get frustrated very easily. And so instead of, instead of learning how to deal with it, I just sort of don't get business partners. I do my own thing. Um, but over the last three to four years, I've really looked at how do I join forces and collaborate and do some really awesome stuff and not not ride it solo all the time and you know, this Yamba project when it first came onto my table I was a little concerned of of, of falling into that formula um, and in this case it was like four of us as partners um, so I was a little nervous but I think it was one of the best decisions I've ever made to be part of a team, especially a dedicated team that is on point, on point. And in very short amount of time, we were able to go from an idea to raising funds. Now, whatever happens with this project, uh, it's not as important as what I've learned about myself in this project to date. So I'm really excited about how today's gonna go. Sorry. Uh, the two greens and what's the next one? Black. black. The two extra bags with the bat with the black. I will show you what it looks like. That is disgusting. I also need to take my dry cleaning. Remember from a vlog? I think it was eight or nine or ten. Oh my god! I always forget my dry cleaning. Well, they've been sitting here. Smells like samosas, man. How can you smell soup? Actually, now it smells like samosas. Yeah. And over there. Let's go. Let's go. We can make it. <laughs> it is cold, isn't it? Yeah. Off to see my friend Lauren for coffee. Catch up. It's been a while. Great coffee date with Lauren. I just love talking to marketers who are smart, know what they're doing, and are passionate. And then she gave me like four different names to follow up on to learn more. And so when I can get names on other people to follow, and it's even better. Um, it's a good start. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Where are you going? Hi. Oh, look who I ran into. Hey. Homie dinner. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Lunch, man. On my jacket, I'll go get me. Looks like nachos and like. Technology issues. Technology issues. Things don't work. So much cool shit going on around here. Anyhow, uh, we're gonna go get some lunch. <laughs> what kind of food is it in here? Really cool in here, man.
incredible. Burgers, we need fries, to go back so salads. We can actually enjoy our food instead of rushing. I was like, man, the food is good. And I talked about maybe me DJing for them too. And so if that works out, I get to DJ there and have their food. For free. <laughs> uh, focus. Um, I wanted to talk about it really quickly just because it's been a discussion uh, internally at the office. Because every time I tell people about what I do and, and the things that I'm working on, the first question always is, how do you do so much? How come you never retired? And how could you take on all this stuff? And you're married, you got two kids, you got a business. And so I was trying to explain to them the idea of uh, focus. Because at the end of the day, everything you do comes down to how much you focus on what and what's the cost of that focus. So very quickly, uh, Focus 101 from Satspeed. Most people make a list of all the things that they got to do and then look at how do I get it done today, which is very exhausting, which is also time consuming and you can't focus on it all. And so when you have this many things to do, 10 things to do, each one of those things get one tenth of your attention. Feel like you did 10 things, but you did all 10 of them to one tenth of its potential. Okay. So what I like to do, I look at what are the three things of the 10 things I got to do today that makes it a profitable tomorrow. Invest today, smile tomorrow. Sell today, celebrate tomorrow. Hustle today, chill later. That's the ones I want to focus on. What are the things that I want to give my attention to so that I can give more than one-tenth of my time to work? I never do more than three. Three is actually a, a, a weird day. It's usually one, if not two things that I focus a lot on. So, your number one option, two option, 100% of your focus. You can do this and you can do it every single day. Now you can start to balance out between life, friends, work. What's the best way for me to focus today on one or two things that's going to get me a great tomorrow?